Hi there, I'm Tom from Danfoss Climate Solutions. In this video, we will give you some tips how to disassemble the EVT servo operator solenoid valve, which you see here, so that you minimize service costs and ensure safe and reliable valve operation. Here you see the tools which you can use to disassemble the EVT valve. Firstly, if mounted, remove the coil from the valve. Please note that it is extremely important to disconnect the electrical supply to the coil before removing it from the valve. Especially for an AC voltage coil, if you remove it while energized, the coil power consumption will instantaneously increase dramatically and the coil will burn out and it might melt and cause personal injury. So make sure to disconnect it. Carefully insert a screwdriver between the coil bottom and the valve body as seen here and twist the screwdriver to loosen the coil. Then remove the coil from the valve. We are now ready to disassemble the valve. Carefully loosen the armature tube and hex nut assembly by using two wrenches as seen here. One wrench for loosening the assembly and one wrench for counterholding the valve body to avoid stressing the valve connections and the piping. Then unscrew and remove the armature tube and hex nut assembly as seen here. Remove the armature with armature spring and remove the armature top with spring from the armature tube. Carefully remove the servo piston from the valve body and remove the metal gasket from the piston. If you only need to replace the metal gasket and the coil o-ring using the seal kit seen here, then ensure that the armature spring remains located in the armature to be reused and that the armature top spring remains located in the armature top to be reused as seen here. Also ensure to keep the two armature guide pins and the servo piston as seen here. Please note that whenever you take the valve apart and reassemble it, you should always replace the metal gasket seen here. When the valve is assembled, this gasket forms a metallic sealing through a minor metallic deformation. This metallic deformation is permanent and therefore the gasket should not be reused since there is then a risk of external leakage once the valve is back in operation. It is also recommended to replace the coil o-ring seen here. This o-ring is by compression sealing against moist ingress into the coil which might cause the coil to burn out. The EVT valve is designed for high temperature operation, the coil o-ring elasticity might get less over time and if re-reused during valve service there might be a risk of less sealing capability, risk of moist ingress into the coil and therefore risk of coil damage. If you need to replace all internal valve parts then you can use the service kit seen here. Now for reassembly of the servo operated EVT valve, have a look at the separate video about this and follow the important tips we give. And have a look at the other online learnings about the EVT CO2 solenoid valve. So now you know how to disassemble the EVT servo operated solenoid valve and why it is important always to replace the metal gasket and the coil o-ring if you service this valve. This way ensuring that you have a safe and reliable valve operation with minimum service costs.